Hi everyone. How to solve this nice algebra and radical math problem? Which is square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 10. Also square root of a times b is equal to 10. Now here we will try to eliminate the square root from the left hand side from both the equations. So for that, let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second. Now here we will take equation number first and we will take square root on both sides. So equation number first is square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 10. Let us take square on both sides. So here in the left hand side we will use a positive algebraic identity a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b here a is square root of a and b is square root of b and 10 square is 100 here in these two terms the square and square root will be cancelled so only a plus b will be left plus 2 times here we will use in the square root math property square root of a times b can also be written as square root of a times square root of b so this will become square root of a times b is equal to 100. Now here we will substitute the value of square root of a times b from equation number 2 which is 10. So this will become a plus b plus 2 times square root of a plus b is 10 is equal to 100. Now here 2 times 10 is 20. So next we will move this 20 to the right hand side. So this will become a plus b it will become 100 minus 20 which is equal to 80. So this will become a plus b is equal to 80. Now let us suppose this is equation number third. And next we will take square on equation number two. Now equation number two is Square root of a times b is equal to 10. Let us take square on both sides. So here this square and this square root will be cancelled. So a times b is equal to 10 square is 100. Now here we will divide both sides by b to make a as a subject of this equation. So here this b and this b will be cancelled. So only a will be left here. So this will become a is equal to 100 by b. Let us suppose this is equation number 4. Now here we will substitute the value of a from equation number 4 and equation number 3. Equation number 3 is a plus b is equal to 80. Now here a is 100 by b. So this will become 100 by b plus b is equal to 80. Now here we will take LCM. LCM of b and 1 is b. So this will become b. Now dividing b by b gives same 1. 1 times 100 is 100. Plus dividing b by 1 gives same b. b times b is b square is equal to 80. And next we will move this b in the denominator to the right hand side so it will be multiplied with 80. So this equation will become 100 plus b square is equal to 80 b. Now next we will move this 80 b to the left hand side so this will become b square it will become minus 80 b plus 100 is equal to 0. Now this is our quadratic equation. Here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find the roots of this quadratic equation. To use the quadratic formula, first we will write the values of a, b and c. The value of a is 1. The value of b is minus 80. And the value of c is 100. 
the quadratic formula is b is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and let us substitute the values of abc so this will become minus b b is minus 80 plus minus square root of b square no b is minus 80 minus 4 a c divided by 2 a the value of a is 1 so next it will become negative time negative is positive so it will become positive 80 plus minus root of no minus square is positive and 80 square is 6400 minus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 100 is 400 divided by 2 now we will do the remaining step here so our last equation will become e is 80 plus minus square root of 6400 minus 400 is 6000 divided by 2 next we can write this 6000 is 400 times 15 so next we will replace this number with the product of these two numbers so this will become is equal to 80 plus minus this will become square root of 400 times 15 divided by 2 next we will split this square root over 415 so this will become 80 plus minus now square root of 400 is 20 and the square root of 15 will be the same divided by 2 next we can write this equation as 80 divided by 2 plus minus 20 times square root of 15 divided by 2 here 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 40 is 80 and here 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 10 is 20 so this will become b is equal to 40 plus minus 10 times square root of 15 so here we got two values of b now here we will find the corresponding values of a so for that we will use equation number third which is a plus b is equal to 80 so equation number third implies a plus b is equal to 80 now here we will move this b to the right hand side so this will become a is equal to 80 minus b now here we will substitute the value of b that is this one so this will become a is equal to 80 minus the value of b is 40 plus minus 10 times square root of 15 now here we multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis so this will become 80 it will become minus 40 and negative time positive is negative and negative time negative is positive 10 times square root of 15 now here 80 minus 40 is 40 minus plus 10 times square root of 15 and here we have also two values of a so it means that we have two solutions two values of a and two values of b so these two solutions are our first solution is a1 comma b1 is now the first value of a is 40 minus 10 times square root of 15 and the first value of a is plus 1 so this is 40 
plus 10 times square root of 15. So this is our first solution and the second solution is a2 comma e2 is equal to no the second solution of a is positive so this will become 40 plus 10 times square root of 15 comma and here the b will will be negative so this is 40 minus 10 times square root of 15 this is our second solution and last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching